but now you have a group right and you have content all inside the group so how do you want to segment it how are you going to put in a nice little modules where your group members can see it easily and what if you want to host, for example, your training inside your Facebook group and you want to put the training available to people that come in or your existing member. So this can be done by putting it into Facebook guides, Facebook group guides. So previously it's called Unit, but now they changed the name. God knows why, but they changed the name into Guide. So when you click on Guide, you can see there are different guides or different module. And with that, you can easily navigate through all your content or maybe the training that you have inside the Facebook group itself. And without further ado, let me just go in the computer and I can show you how this can be done. And let's go. Alright, so let me show you an example of guides or units. Last time Facebook called it units, now they change it to guide. So for example, you look at one of these group by Dean Graziosi that I was in, right? So you can see here there's the option guides here. When you click on guides, it shows like chapters, right? Chapters or subject that you can read, right? So this is what guides are. Right, so when people come into your group, they can go through the guides. You can put like training video there, you can put challenges there, you can put questions there. So when people come in, they can go through your guide and they will understand what it's all about. Right? So let me just show you how you can create the guide for your own group. Back to this group, Lead Generation for Entrepreneurs. If you want to join this group, please feel free to join. Thank you. Now you go to settings, click on settings, and then first thing you need to do is to enable guide. Right? So uh, you click on settings, then you come to here, then you see here right organize post by subject to help people learn new things so basically guide are something for people that just join your group to learn new things all right so you just click on add and then a guide session has been added to your group right and so you sit in here so you can start a guide start a guide so what's the subject of the guide for example introduction so in this just for example right then you get one you just save then you can create post or you can create quiz right create post is same as normal you just create normal post you can put a video there you can put a picture you can put like articles whatever you want to put all right if you want to create quiz you can create a quiz so you can put a quiz title the passing score optional if you want to put it then there's questions and the answer options it's up to you whether you want to put it or not then you can reorder them right you can add more questions for example right Select one correct answer, this one. Yeah, select one correct answer, this one, both. Just, just an example. Then just click done. So you can take this, there's a quiz here, right? So you just take quiz, then you can answer uh, yes, next. And then, uh, for example, you say free. People like to talk free, right? Submit. Then you see the answer, 50%. Just an example, then they'll give an explanation here. So it's pretty cool, right? Having a lead gen basic. And if you want to edit, you can edit quiz because you're the owner, so you can edit. So that's how you can add. To add new guides, right? You can just put new guides. For example, save. Then new guide. Save. This is an example, right? So that you have a few guide. Guide 1, guide 1, guide 2, guide 3, which you haven't have anything yet. So you can just create post and put inside here. For example, I put here. This is an example, right? You just post. Then you can go through it, right? So the moment they go in here, then when they're done, they can just click done. Then it counts as done. So this is just how you can do guide. You can arrange, you can put videos inside here as well. That makes things a lot easier. When people come inside the guide, they can watch through the video. Uh, here, they don't have any video, but in other guides, usually they have video. For example, they just put an image here. For example, there's a video they put here. So you can put in video as well, and, and that makes things easier. So you can put videos, you can put pictures and things like that, right? For example, if you do live and then it's safe in the group, you can actually put the video inside the guide. Let me show you how you can put it, right? So this is done, just click X. So let's go discussion. So now, for example, I have this simple post, right? How is the one been treating you so far? And you want to put it into guide. Uh, for example, if you do any videos and things like that, you can put it in your group, share it there. And then if you find that it is useful, then you can put it into guide. Uh, so how you put the guide, just click on the three dot, click on it, go to add post to guide. Then for example, you go to advance. Then you can save. 2021, for example. And just save. And this is really added into advance. So you can see here. Now there's a quiz in lead gen basic. There's quick there's a success in lead gen here. And then there's a 2021. You just click done and then it's done. So this is how easily you can create guides. So last time it was called units. Facebook might change the name again. Units guide, units guide, they are all the same. Uh, so basically this is a place where you can store, for example, your training videos, your videos, uh, ed educational things that you prepared for your viewers in your, in your group. All these can be put inside here uh, so that people can easily go through it and watch the video as needed. Right? That's it. Yep, that is how you can create 
Facebook group guides inside your Facebook group. So last time it's called unit, now it's called guides. So do not be confused about it. And if I were to say between guides and units, please forgive me because I'm used to using units, but now it's changed to guides, so it might be slip of tongue. And with that, I hope that you like what I share. Do give me a like, a thumbs up if you like my video. And if you have not subscribed, this channel is all about digital marketing entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, do consider subscribing to this channel. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And with that, thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!